Use this five-play midi scheme to shred your opponent on the ground and in the air. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post to my channel. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about the Carolina Panthers playbook. It has one of the best formations in the game um, simply because it is so well balanced. It's got really good running plays glitchy running plays uh, and it's got really good uh, passing plays in it too so we're going to take a look at the pistol week uh, is the formation and what i want to do is i want to go ahead and get my best cat patch cast uh, catch passing receiver either tight end or running back and put them in the front position the fullback position so this is the dual halfback flip that's going to put uh, Tariq Cohen uh, in my uh, my running back number two or fullback position and this is going to give me a better pass catching uh, and just a little bit more speed with it so uh, with the the basic plays that we have uh, with this particular set uh, first and foremost one of our base audibles is a triple option this is a very effective run going the opposite direction where the where the the, uh, the, the quarterback and the running backs go, and it's a fullback that gets a lot of great blocking, and you can pick up some major yards, and I've got gameplay to prove that. Uh, the other play is the play-action option pass. This is a good way to go and ha attack your opponent with a deep post route. It's a similar route uh, that you would see with uh, the Pat Sale. Uh, it, it's it's somewhat limited. The, the how I run it, I only run about three routes. So it gives plenty of time for, to to make a progression. And only time you really get you get so, get yourself in trouble is if you actually throw into a defender. Uh, as as far as other plays uh, in this, you also have the Y corner, which has got a scissors concept. You got a little wheel route with your fullback position, and then you've got um, an option route on the back end side. And uh, the slants is one of my other audibles. We're going to go and switch that out. We're going to switch it out for the play action comeback. And I like this because it allows me to attack my opponent on, on the, the far side. So we're going to go ahead and switch slants out for play action comebacks. And the play we're going to call the huddle, huddle is going to be the halfback zone weak. And let's just run this against man blitzes and go from there. All right, so basically we've got a running game. We're either going to go ahead and run off the left or well, we're going to do the triple option, the run off to the right. Um, and uh, basically with this with this running game, uh, we're going to go ahead and reset it. Uh, with the run uh, just basically off the left with a dive, uh, we're just going to go ahead and try to run behind your fullback, and that should be able to get you some fairly good yards. You're going to get all your action off, off the left. Now let's go ahead and see if we can go and get this triple option off the right. Now the safeties came down in the box, so that's not necessarily a good thing. So we're just going to run right up the middle and hopefully get a seal block and right, right there I picked up a good five or six yards. But what makes this play unique or this, this formation unique is the triple option and it actually gets very good blocking. So to, to run the triple option, you're just going to hold the X button. So once you click X um, on uh, on your PlayStation 4, uh, you're going to hold it, and you're going to go ahead and get really good animation off the edge. Now, I'm going to show this to you a couple times in a row, especially against other other types of, of plays. But what you get really good seal blocking uh, like this and it gives you an opportunity to get some huge plays if you get one spin move. So I don't want to go and run it, run this a little bit too much. Uh, as far as one of our base plays, we've got the play action uh, uh, comebacks. And how I like to run this play uh, is I'm going to go ahead and do a drag with my backside receiver or an in with my backside receiver. And I'm going to streak up Robinson. Uh, my first read is going to be Cohen uh, in the flat. If no defender floats out, floats out there, I'm going to go ahead and look at Cohen. Robinson, I'm not. He's just a clear out route, and I'll be looking at Ga uh, Burton and then Gabriel. So let's go ahead and see if anybody follows Cohen. No, we're just going to drop it down there and just pop that ball really quick. Now you do have play action animation, so you can get yourself in some trouble with that. So uh, you want to make sure that you're conscious of that. So we got. The opportunity with the with the tight end, which is another opportunity to go and attack your opponent uh, off to the left. So it's going to be the two areas that we're going to look at. Let me go into the replay, just show you my reads uh, against uh, pretty much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to watch this guy first, see if he stays into block. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this guy right here and see if he actually goes and, and do that. So got a little uh, a flashing with the screen, so I'm probably going to stay out of instant replay. 
So uh, the other play is going to be Y, uh, y corner. And I like to block uh, my running back. And against a man blitzer, what's going to happen is this, this wide receiver right here is just going to run straight up. And if he doesn't get pressed off the line, basically you can pop it against any kind of a man read. So let's just go ahead and do this again. So you got an opponent that's running a lot of man blitzes. See the guy comes in. He gives his back. We're just going to go pop that. That's going to be easy completion on the back end side. The C route by the running back is not going to always get a release for you, so you probably want to stay away from that route unless nobody comes in the area. You've also got this route on the back end side, uh, which is the tight end route of the corner route, and you can get that completion. And let's see if we get the time right now with Gabriel. So if we get enough blocking, let's see. Here we go. I just missed that pass right there. So Trubisky has a tendency to throw balls uh, under pressure. So that's just going to be uh, one of those situations he's going to be concerned with. But the key to this particular this this play is going to be this little uh, option hitch route. That's going to be able to pick you up a good um, you know 15 yard gainer or, or so uh, and move the sticks for you if he does a lot of heavy man blitzes. So let's just go and see if we can get this off. No, I can't get it off. He, he sent seven people after me and I just it just didn't have the animation. So uh, one other play we got is going to be the play action option pass. Uh, this is how I like to run the play. I like to go ahead and take the tight end and actually put him on a fade route. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a drag. I'm going to block my running back. Now, my guys are going to get into some play action animation. Let's see if we hold our blocks. This is the route that's actually going to go ahead and get really good separation against man, man coverages. So that's going to be the area that you want to go with against man blitzes. So let's go ahead and, go ahead and take a look at uh, cover two, cover three, and cover four. All right, so we're going to get some random cover twos. Uh, once again, we're just going to go ahead and take this little halfback week right up the, up the hole. Uh, a lot of times you're going to be looking off to the left, uh, and you probably get some good blocking with it, especially if you have a bigger back than Cohen. But I, I have Cohen in there because he's just a, he's a faster back. Or we can go ahead and run into the triple option. We're going to hold that X button and watch the blocking and how you get the edge. And if you get a good spin move animation, you can pick up a good 50 or 60 yards. I had that happen to me in a gameplay just today. Uh, as far as the uh, play action comeback against cover two, once again, we're going to drag up uh, Gabriel. We're going to streak up our receivers. And the first place we're going to go is going to go underneath. And then we've got this, this crossing route right here by the tight end. Uh, so uh, a lot of pressure coming off the edge right there, but that's what's going to happen when you play um, in uh, a practice mode is you're going to get a lot of these things. So I'm going to do a little in route right here, see if anybody falls out to the zone. No. Uh, because the defender carries, so we're just going to drop it down off to that left. That's going to be our first read, is going to be that delay route. This is kind of going to give you an idea what we're going to get. Uh, and just for the sake of this run, I, this nobody's going to be using uh, three deep defense like that. So let's just go ahead and jump into this again. Uh, clay action corners, in routes. Clay action corners, in route, and a streak. And just go from there. You can hit that underneath route, but what's going to happen is this route will get open against those cover two shells if you can hold your block. So that's what's what's cool about it is you're attacking your opponent off the left, off the left. Um, now we've got the uh, the Y corner. I like to block my running back just to give you a little bit more time, and your defender doesn't fall in the area. You've got this route, and it allows you to go and attack your opponent right in the middle. And you can see I'm picking up 10 yards with that route. Uh, so that's what's cool about the secure play. It's going to go ahead and block uh, our running back again. And it's basically high-low. Look at the block sheds going on right there. We're going, to, we're going to go ahead and just accept that because we're going in this practice mode. Let's see if we can get hit the deep post. Can we be able to hit this deep post? And just barely. So a lot of guys, what they do online is actually go ahead and, and manually put a deep blue up there. So that's actually going to take away that deep post. Uh, so what you can do is you can um, uh, accept that you got a deep corner. And then uh, right here, uh, you've got the deep corner route that actually floated up by the def uh, by that wide receiver, so let's go, or the uh, defender. Let's see if we can get that off the back end side. No, so we're just going to go and check it down to that running back route of the wing. So uh, not a lot of action with this figure play against cover two, uh, but let's go and take a look at this play against cover two, which is going to be play action option pass. And once again, we're going to set this up uh, like we like to. We're going to block all of our guys, uh, take our tight end, and actually put them on a fade route, not a streak, but a fade route. And then we're going to drag up our wide receiver to go and bring guys off. So let's go and see if we get the blocking. Look at this route. 
wide open, easy completion against cover two. So you can pick up some major yards. So you have two cover two beaters deep for a 20-yard gainer on each side of the field uh, with uh, basically with the play action comeback, uh, comeback and the play action option pass. The only time you're going to get yourself in trouble with this deep route with, with Robinson is if you throw in a guy's user. Other than that, uh, it should get past all the coverages. So let's show this against cover three. So if you have uh, basically two uh, two running backs, it's really going to help. You can see right there, I picked up a good 10 yards. Nice little seal blocking. And then I can come back uh, to the triple option, hold the X button, and watch how the seal blocking is. And I'm off to the races. I picked up a good 15 yards with that. So now my opponent's got a two-headed rushing attack that he's got to stop. He's got to stop a run off to the left, off to the right, and he's going to be very conscious about that. And that's where we can go and hit him with other plays. So... Once again, we're going to drag up uh, Gabriel. I'm going to streak up Robinson. Robinson's goal is just to clear people out. Look to the release route. And as you can see, the release route gets covered, leaving this wide open for an easy completion. And I've got a fallback which, with the drag route or the end route on the back end side. But it's all about exposing that back corner. Y corner is a good play to go jump into again. Uh, this should allow you uh, to basically hit your opponent right here where you can actually pop that ball really quick. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can pop that quick uh, against against our opponent and just keep him guessing. Uh, you know, if he runs a lot of cover three and he's not doing hard coverages, basically you can pop them for an easy completion and just get yards against him, and it's just going to annoy the hell out of him, especially if you get rid of it really quick. So you can watch. Nobody actually falls back on it. If you've got a guy that can catch in traffic and catch when he gets hit, uh, that's going to make a huge, huge difference. Now, another adjustment you can do right here is you can take Robinson, and put him on a deep comeback route. So he's going to get up about 15 yards. And all you're really going to do is read the defender over Cohen. If nobody falls over to him, that's going to allow you to go and pop him back here. But if the defender falls down to Cohen and doesn't fall back to the deep comeback route, uh, you're going to basically go ahead and pop that deep comeback route on the back end side. So get a deep comeback route. We're going to block our running back to give us some more time. Let's see if the defender, nope, see the defender doesn't go. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm just going to check it down and get his user in, in the play field right there. So uh, let's go ahead and see. Uh, we're going to leave Howard on the backside to, to, with the little release. And now you can go ahead and pop him down um, on the other side of the field. So you're attacking the flats on both sides of the field. You've got a little circle route that he's got to defend. Uh, I've got a, a deep corner route. I've got a flat off to the right. And then if you do the play action option route, uh, once again, this is just going to be uh, one of those type of situations where he's going to have such a hard time stopping all this stuff. And this is going to give that play animation. So let's see if we can hold our blocks. Can we hold them? And look at this guy. He's, uh, he's wide open for a huge completion for about 20 yards down the field. Only time you're going to get in trouble with that route is if he's using it. So if he carries with it, you're going to have to go and make a progression from there. So let's go ahead and take a look at cover four. All right, so uh, if your opponent's using cover four drop, uh, basically he might be in a different coverage than this. This is the only cover four drop I can find in this Minnesota playbook. Uh, but what's cool about it is that it is this, it, it's this play will actually give you an opportunity to go and attack it. Uh, he's not going to have his guys all spread out like this. But uh, as far as the pass plays, once again, play action corner. Uh, we're going to go ahead and streak up, do an in route with Gabriel. And we're really going to watch high-low with Cohen and Burton and dump the ball away if and nobody falls out. So the flat actually gets taken away with that with that uh, with that uh, that cover four uh, drop look. So that's something you want to take in consideration. So we're going to go ahead and drag up a Robinson. We're going to expect the, the defender actually to go ahead and carry. And as you can see right here, this corner route is going to be wide open. So you know you're going to be able to go. It's just high-low. High-low uh, with this, you're going to be looking to the, to Cohen and then go ahead and check up to Burton on the back-end side. Uh, so let's just go ahead and just run this again. And uh, you got that play-action animation, so we're going to look to that. And just go ahead and take it. Uh, if the defender slowed down to it, you're going to be able to pick up an easy yards. If he manually takes that away, that's probably going to give that, that underneath route wide uh, open for you. Uh, y corners against cover uh, cover four. Let's go and run this. Do a deep, deep comeback route. And once again, this little check down is going to be wide open for a deep comeback route. I picked up a good 10 yards right on that little route. And there's no pressure he can go after me that's going to give me any kind of problems whatsoever. Uh, so let's just go ahead and leave uh, leave the play as is. I got an option route. And look at this. Uh, let's see if we can get that. Now, uh, I just kind of threw that a little bit late. I should have probably thrown it back. But you can see the defenders actually all 
they all play over the top and you could squeeze it in probably not a good idea let's go ahead and just leave the uh, leave the uh, Y corner with the, with the flat with Cohen off the back inside see if the defender actually floats down to it he does and that's going to give you a corner route that you can potentially squeeze in but I just go ahead and check down to that running back route if I'm going to do that now the play action option pass once again we're going to go ahead and streak up the tight end we're going to drag up our um, our wide receiver and we're just going to watch the animation happen right here I actually and I've got this particular route right here to go ahead and attack it so same spots over and over again so you're really not making any kind of changes because these routes all the way you complement these routes they'd be pretty much every single coverage you're going to be doing so you can run it against either cover two cover three or cover four so once again my subscribers thank you for your support guys if you like these tips make sure you smash that like button and i'll be rolling out some more schemes and more uh, defensive strategies for you coming up soon thanks a lot until next time